most of the children, when they reflect on their experience in our school, point to the Holocaust education as one of the most formative experiences of their entire Yafna education. It was through that class that they built their Amuna. They came to understand how Jews respond during difficult times and what we do to build a supportive Jewish community. When we have an Anyoma Shoah, and we have our students viewing the Sefer Torah we have that, that is the last remnant of a, of a Jewish town in Europe. They're seeing something that they know comes from a certain part in our history, and they know at the same time represents the fact that we survived that. That makes an impact on our students. When I was a student in the 70s, it was very clear to me that our teachers and Rabbi Kwawasser were trying to connect us to the chain. There were a lot of Shoah survivors among the faculty. My, my kindergarten teacher had a number on her arm, Ann Rubin, Zichon Alavarcha. She was an Auschwitz survivor. Our eighth grade program is one beyond compare. The program began during the 1977-78 school year, in which a group of students wrote a play and it was performed on Yom HaShoah. All year long, Mrs. Gabby Weiss would teach us the material of the Holocaust curriculum. We spent hours of teamwork researching and writing the play. An authentic read is selected, co-chaired by Rabbi Burstein, our Director of Holocaust Studies, and Dominique Sierra, a noted and wonderful scriptwriter. Every eighth grader becomes part of the process. Some will act, some will be writers, artists. I think that it's done in a way that the kids do feel connected to what they've learned, they understand it, and they live it and they breathe it. We are bringing back to life many Kedoshim who gave their lives, who were murdered for no other reason than the fact that they were Jews. It has a huge impact on the children and on the audience. It's a powerful program, and it, it leaves a tremendous impression on them. I was a writer for our Holocaust play. It was the year that Elie Wiesel won the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, to me, as a granddaughter of Holocaust survivors, I just felt that it had such impact, even just here in Paramus, New Jersey. It is so important, while we still have some survivors living among us, to allow them to share their stories and allow the children to relate directly to the story of the Shoah, so that they take the stories and the lessons of history into the next generation. In 1942, when there was a question of what is the future of the Jewish people, the, the Almighty whispered, and this institution, much like the original Yavne, has served to perpetuate Jewish education. 75 years later, so many generations, thousands of students educated in these halls an institution that was born in a moment of terrible tragedy for the Jewish people, but has served as an engine for the continuity of the Masorah.